Today's Wednesday, so happy Wednesday to you guys or whatever day you're watching this. Hope you're having a really good summer so far. It's been kind of a crazy summer here. It's finally starting to heat up and it's the middle of June. We have had a couple of really, really hot days this past week here in Northern California. I'm in Santa Rosa, California. Um, but otherwise it's been pretty, you know, it's been pretty um, bearable. I've only had to run my air conditioner like a couple of times and so that's pretty good because with the price of electricity these days, you know, I kind of try to watch the pennies, right? So actually, I picked these things up um, a while ago when they first came out. But you know what? It's summer and I haven't really used them yet because it hasn't been very hot. But now that it's hot, I'm thinking lemons, lemonade, ice water, iced tea, um, just really cool sangria, um, wine coolers, I don't know, whatever. Um, but I thought I would share these little plates with you. Um, little Got some little lemon plates. And again, these are all like $1.25, so, you know, can't beat that price. So here's some little lemon plates. I'm just gonna set them over here. I picked up a little set of glasses that have the lemons on them. They're so cute. I think the artwork is just beautiful on these. And they're really, you know, heavy glass. They have the thick glass bottoms. They really look high quality. So um, I have a couple of those. And then, of course, the ones with the bees. And don't worry, we're not getting into bee territory this time around. But they're, they're so cute. They're really cute. So those, I got a couple of those. And then I only got a couple of these little, they call them wine glasses, but they look like little juice glasses to me. So I don't know, I have a couple of those. And then, of course, I had to kind of get a little matching sets, right? So I got a couple of little tea towels. Bees and lemons, bees and lemons. And a couple, oops, sorry about that. A little, um, couple of little pot holders, which obviously I have not used because I have other pot holders and I don't want these to get ruined. <laughs> What's the point? But anyway, <laughs> there you go. Bees and lemons. How cute is that? So now I'll open some of the bags that I got this week and let's see what we got. There's some fun things. So Dollar Tree has a lot of really pretty just plain white dishes and I love white dishes and I kind of was getting low like on cereal bowls um, ice cream bowls so I picked up these these little white bowls I only got a couple of them it's just me so you know how many do I need I guess it depends on how much ice cream you eat right I don't eat that much <laughs> but anyway I thought these were really pretty so I got those sorry for the clanking I guess that's inevitable when you have glass right and then I'd also picked up these little candle holders. They're pretty green. Um, I like, I like, I thought they were kind of shimmery and summery. I actually had a couple of these earlier. Um, so I got a couple more, but anyway, got those. And they look super pretty. If you put a little candle in them. I like to put them on my dining room table. So there's those. And then with candles, of course, I said I wasn't gonna go with, there with the bees, but you know what? <sighs> anyway, this is a cute little candle. It's by this um, brand called Birch and Vine, and I really like it. And the fragrance is called Fresh Milk. Latte Frost, I don't know, I can't speak French. It is a scented candle. And you know what? I have no sense of smell. I was born without a sense of smell, so I can't smell anything, good, bad, otherwise. So I can't smell the candle to tell you if it smells good, but I actually have to judge usually on color, unless I like stock out people in the store and ask them, excuse me, ma'am, could you like smell this for me and tell me if it smells good? 
which I do quite often actually, and people are usually obliged to help. You know, they're, they're happy to help. So I accept their help and they say good or bad, but then I'm kind of at their mercy, right? Maybe they like it, but I might not. So anyway, getting off track, but aren't they cute? They're cute little gloss ones. So I picked up a couple of those. Okay, so now some of these things, I'm not sure you'll be super interested in all of these, but I actually like these little metal pencil holder things from Jot, little organizers. I love that metal. And I have some other like little mesh metal things. So I'm gonna put these in my desk drawer um, and hold some pencils. So I got a couple of those, a couple of those. And let's see, what else did they have? They have these cute little index cards that are like in this little spiral thing. And I thought those were super cute. And of course I love this blue. So my primary colors in my apartment are um, green, sage green, white, and cream. That's kind of my favorites. I don't really have too many, oh, some browns and beiges. I don't really have too many other colors in here, but this blue is so pretty that I have it for other things. So anyway, I thought that was really kind of cute. And you could tear these out. You could put these with junk journals or just, I don't know, just use them for notes or password keepers or story ideas, plots, character development. I don't know, what <laughs> whatever you would use them for. I kind of know what I might use them for, but there you go, little index cards. And then they had these little rolls of, oops, vinyl liners, shelf liners. And I like to line my cabinets with these. Um, so I picked up a couple of those. They're the, that grippy kind of, I don't know, that grippy kind of material. I really like that because you can wash these. You can take them out and rinse them off and when you clean out your cupboards, which I don't do that often, but I do like to do it sometimes. Put them in the drawers. They're kind of a nice size for a drawer. And this one I thought was really cute, <clears throat> excuse me, because it has some little um, flowers on it and kind of the beigey brown, vintagey kind of flowers. I thought those were cute. What else? Oh, I got these little markers, furniture scratch markers, because my dining room chairs, which this is my dining room table, I don't really have a real crafting space or anything. So everything I'm doing right now is on my dining room table, which I really kind of hate to take off my cute little place settings and do all of that. But you know what? You sacrifice, right? So anyway, I have the dark wood legs on my furniture, uh, my dining room chairs. So I got those because they need some touch up. So I thought I could touch them up with that. What else? Oh, this is just one of those mop and broom holders. They work pretty good. You just kind of poke them out like that and then you put your broom handle in there. And then, um, okay, come on, come on. <laughs> you put this on the wall. So I'm gonna put this, I think, in the garage and hang my brooms out there. I got the little Dollar Tree brooms to sweep out the garage. So we're gonna try that. So this next little group of things I got at the Dollar Tree is this cute little, it's a little planter. It says, meet me in the sea. No, huh, meet me by the sea. Okay, meet me in the sea, by the sea. It's cute. Anyway, I thought that was a cute little planter. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I thought it would make really cute pictures, <laughs> little props for pictures in these little videos. I don't know, so here. <laughs> okay, keep going. <laughs> anyway, they got that. And then I picked up a package of the sand that they sell. I had some other ideas for this, but we're not gonna go there because I don't think it's gonna work out. But I'm thinking beach. I live by Bodega Bay, 
which is where they filmed the birds. And I love the beach. I love the ocean. I don't get to go there very much, so I'm bringing the beach to me. <laughs> so I bought this little pack of sand. And then, of course, <clears throat> I had to have a little teacup with a little beachy theme on it, right? So here's that cute little blue teacup. And then these are just some props that I have, seashells, but happy beach theme. <laughs> and then this, of course, <laughs> I have these as display actually in my in my guest bathroom for the summer. So anyway, that's not Dollar Tree. And either is this. So this is my um, beachy mermaid journal that I... Um, sell on Amazon created this like last summer I think it's just a little lined journal with little fish tails little fish tails on it it's just a simple little lined you know notebook journal but it's cute and you just open it, it has a little ship it has a little mermaid sitting on the rock it's called looking seaward and um, my sister actually makes my covers for me um uh, so look how beautiful this is and she is the name of her design company is dc designs and she's in sonora california so she does a really beautiful job i tell her what i want and then she makes it so number one <laughs> So anyway, this is my little journal to go with my Dollar Tree sand, my Dollar Tree meet me by the sea planter, and of course, my Dollar Tree teacup. Dollar Tree had all of these cute little pinwheels. They had all different colors, and um, I just really like the pink and the purple one. So I got this for me. Um, for I think I'm gonna put it out on my little garden patio. It's just so cute, isn't it? It's adorable. Who doesn't love a little pinwheel, right? Yeah, I could watch this all day. Kind of makes me a little dizzy, but that's all right. We can do this. Spin, spin, spin. Ah. that I got are, let's see. Okay, let's start with this. So they had these antibacterial hand wipes, which are no parabens, no sulfates, no P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E-S, phthalates, <laughs> whatever that is. But they're plant-based, plant-based fiber. So, um, I thought these are kind of cool. I use these a lot. Um, 
So I like the plant-based, they have aloe and vitamin E. So I like that, that's very summery, right, too? So picked up one of those. I also got this, I don't know what this is really, Spongibles Pre-Tan Exfoliator Body Wash in a Sponge Coconut Colada with coconut oil and olive oil. That just looked really summery to me. I don't tan. I'm not a sun worshiper. <laughs> um, I burn super easy. So I've always like stayed out of the sun the best that I can. But I do like exfoliating. And it says that it removes the dead skin and impurities. And I like the coconut and the olive oil idea. So I thought I'd try that, you know, in the shower. You get, let's see. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, right here. 15 washes. 15 plus washes. So I'm not going to use this every single time I take a shower. But I will try it and see. So I like that. Uh, $1.25. Try it out. Then I also just picked up a little bit of hand lotion for my purse because my hands get so dry. My skin gets really dry. So a little Curel Ultra Healing. So that's pretty cute. Then, um, fresh cut diced new potatoes. I don't always buy bags of potatoes in the store, but I like to put potatoes in a vegetable soup that I make. So sometimes I just pick up a can of these. These are pretty good because all they are are potatoes, water, sea salt, uh, a little bit of a calcium chloride. So these are pretty good. Anyway, I picked up a can of those. I don't know. Potatoes, big deal. <laughs> then this thing is called um, a lash comb, sassy and chic. It's for, it's a lash comb <laughs> for your eyelashes. It's got these little prongs. I guess I could take it out. Let's see. No, we don't want to do this. Oh, can they ever make packaging that just really comes apart easy? I don't think so. That's all right. We'll get it. It's a little... <laughs> Went to the top. It's a little um, eyelash comb. It's really cute. Um, to separate when you put mascara on. Um, which I hate wearing mascara, but you know, you gotta do it sometimes. Um, so it's a little, you just kind of brush through, comb through to take the clumps out. So I'll give it a shot. I saw somebody else purchase this um, on another YouTube channel, Dollar Tree haul thing. And I saw it this week. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try that little thing. I gotta go get the cap. <laughs> And then the other thing, I bought a couple of these little 2024 planners. Now I make my own planners that I also sell on Amazon, but sometimes I just like to have a little extra one because I can kind of check the dates and kind of get ideas. And this one was really cute. You know, and sometimes I just like to kind of plan ahead a little bit and have a little planner to kind of go into the next year with. So I got that little pink one. And then this was just a little hardcover one with flowers. And it was really cute too. And this one actually kind of lays flat. Not really, but kind of. I kind of like this one the best. So anyway, two of those. And that's that. So I picked up these little collapsible storage containers. They open up into like a little square put things in and I'm putting these I picked up this cute little white shelf from QVC a couple weeks back and I wanted to put it in my like hall um, coat closet because it fit there but when I did that I really couldn't utilize it the way I wanted to so I ended up putting it in my in my spare um, my guest room in the corner, then it fit perfectly. 
And these little square containers from Dollar Tree actually fit perfectly. So I have two green ones and they didn't have a third green one so I picked up a pink one, which is fine. If they ever have another green one, I'll get it because there's three shelves that these would fit on. So if I, you know, ever find another green one, I'll pick it up, but, and I can always use the pink one, but for now, they're really cute. And then I'm thinking I can start maybe putting some craft things in there. I don't really know yet. I'm still working that all out. It's like a, still a big thing. Um, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there and I will get there. So anyway, cute. These are really cute. They're pretty sturdy. They're cheaper than Target. They're $1.25 each. So there you have that. These next few items are actually some of the Dollar Tree fall collection. I love fall. I could live in fall, autumn, the entire year. It's just beautiful and I just kind of come alive during that time. So it's not surprising that I'm always kind of picking up little fall decor. I have a lot of it, but you know what? These were just too cute. So they had these little I don't know what they are, little jars, a little cork. This one says, hello, pumpkin. I'm not a big fan of the words usually, but you know what? These little jars were super cute. So there's that one. And then this one says, harvest festival. And it has the little pumpkins. And I just love pumpkins. I don't know. There's just, there's something about the fall that just is just, it's just amazing to me. And I just can't wait for it to get here. I'm not a big summer person, so it could get here tomorrow and I'd be totally happy, <laughs> but we're not there yet, so we don't want to rush things, but I did pick up these couple little, you know, jars, which were super cute. Then they had, um, I think these might have been left over from last year. I'm not sure. They only had a couple of them on the shelf, so they're just the little drinking glasses. Again, you know, the nice solid... Uh, heavy, you know, glasses. So I picked picked up two of those. And then they had a gazillion pumpkins already. But these little ceramic ones were adorable. They're just really cute. Um, I picked up that one and then that one. I have a lot of other little pumpkins that I decorate with, but these ones, I didn't have anything really like these. So I like these little guys. Super cute. There you go. going to be going back to school soon. It seems super early, but there's already Dollar Tree is just filled with back to school supplies. Now, I don't have any kids to buy for. I wish I did. I used to love this time of year. I always loved going school shopping for clothes for my girls and the, then the grandkids and then um, buying school supplies. And every time this time of year comes around, I like I'm always like gravitating to um, school supplies. So, um, I'm going to be going in August to, um, some, fr my friends are putting on this little carnival, a little carnival in the park, kind of a little end of summer type thing. And we're making little prizes, prize gift bags and things for all the kids. And, um, there's, a lot of kids and they're different ages. So 
I offered to help get some of the, the little prizes, the little gift bags, little things like that for some of the kids. And I kind of went a little crazy. So anyway, I have these. I'm going to show you what I got. Dollar Tree has some of the cutest things. So anyway, let's just kind of take this away and go from there. So let's do this. So I'm just going to randomly pull these out of the bag. There's not going to be any probably rhyme or reason to it, but I'll start here and kind of pull these out. Get rid of that. So they have these cute little flashcards. They, they had a bunch of them, but I just picked a couple up. Um, I picked up a couple of little Hello Kitty ones, multiplication learning cards. They're super cute. Uh, they're for ages, mm -hmm. I think it said six years old. I don't remember, oh, six plus. Yeah, so six plus. They're little multiplication cards. I kinda don't wanna open the box, um, cause I like it to be new when they get it. Um, but this is 36 flash cards. And then this is kind of what they look like. But so this is all going to be, you know, back to school themed. So anyway, little Hello Kitty. And then they had SpongeBob. And this one is called Making Sense. Um, so it's going to teach them how to do with money. Um, it has a little SpongeBob characters. Um, my little granddaughter, um, Maggie, when she was um, little, she loved SpongeBob. And so I always think of her when, you know, I see anything SpongeBob. So anyway, I thought this could be for a boy or a girl and these pretty much for a girl. I'm kind of girl oriented, I think. I think somebody else is gonna help with boy stuff. But anyway, there we have the little Hello Kitty, little SpongeBob, uh, little flashcards. And then I picked up a protractor, a compass to throw in, but I kind of think I might keep this for myself for maybe for junk journaling, make a circle. I don't know. Maybe I'll go back and get another one, but I should just, you know, stick with the kids, let the kids have it. So in this bag, let's see. Oh, look at these. Okay, so look at these cute little scented erasers. These were super cute. It has um, sweet strawberry, wild banana, sour apple, juicy blueberry, and groovy grape. Aren't those cute? Um, I guess, I hope they smell good. Like I said, I have no sense of smell, so I don't know but I'm sure the kids will be able to smell them. It says they erase clean, latex-free. So they're really cute. They could be for a boy or girl, right? I, I don't think I have too many boy things again, but um, yeah, so these could be for either. So those are cute. Okay, and then I guess if you have erasers, you have to have pencils, right? So these were cute little uh, and a little eight pack, little eight pack of mechanical pencils made by Zebra, uh, the little mechanical pencils. These again are kind of girl oriented, the little pastel colors. Number two pencils, have to have number two pencils when you're in school, of course. But these two are kind of the little botanical um, colors, little plants. Those are super cute. See what else oh yeah so this is just a little pack of glue sticks eight of them uh, so we'll be you know pulling all of these apart you know putting them in different bags or something I don't know exactly how we're going to distribute them but we'll figure it out but that's cute kids can always use glue this is the jot brand oh and then these things these are really cute okay let's see so they have these little pencil pouches, which I think are really adorable. And uh, full disclosure, I kind of got 
these little blue ones for me because <laughs> I was thinking you could kind of, you know, put them in a little binder and kind of put, use it for like, um, you know, craft things, ephemera or die cuts or I don't know, anything. Um, but, you know, I'm going to think I'm just going to end up giving these to the kids too. I might keep one for myself. We'll see. But, you know, these are the little uh, binder pouches. And then these ones are fabric. So here's a couple of black ones. That could be for boys or girls, either one. Girls like black. Um, let's see that. A couple of the blue ones. And then a purple one. They had other colors, I think. I thought there was another color. But anyway, these are adorable. I just hmm, love these. These are so cute. They have these little they have these little pouches. They're called um, juncture crossbody bags. Kind of like a the sack brand. But look at how adorable that is. Oh my gosh. I want these. My wallet wouldn't fit in there. But look at how cute that is. Adorable. Okay. Then they had this little blue one with the checkers. So cute. So cute. And then they had this little blue one with the flowers. Kind of looks a little tie-dye kind of. Oh. oh, look pink okay so i did get a pink one so i got several of these um yeah they're just i don't know too cute for words i don't know what to say They're like little backpacks in that same brand. These are by Jot. They're kind of like the. They're just so cute. Look at how cute these are. $1.25. You know what? They're not any big deal. But you know what? I think little kids would love this kind of stuff. Look at the little avocados. Aren't they like super sweet? I like this stuff. I like it. Right? Kids gotta like it, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll end up using them. No. <laughs> They're all going to the kids. Okay. There's that one. There's this one. Look at this one. The little aqua color with the little peaches or cherries or I'm not sure what they're supposed to be. Pink. <gasps> adorable. Hello, adorable. We love it. And then they had these little um, Kylie or Kendall and Kylie little um, little pouch things too. They have a little zipper on it. Super, super cute. Oh my gosh. So cute. And I think I got another one of those. This one's blue with some little rainbows on it. And let's see, what else did I get? Oh, I got another one of these. Another one of these little ones. I just love these so much. And let's see what else. Oh, so this one could be like either for boy, right? This one could be kind of gray and black. One of the little backpacks. So we kind of like that. We like that. And I think I got one more. Yes, I got the pink one. I got a pink and black one. 
They had lots of different colors, solid colors, but you know what? I mean, I would have liked to get everything, t duplicates of everything, but you know, this is kind of my limit. I had a limit of, you know, what to spend, and I tried to get, you know, the most versatile, cute things that I could find, so I hope they're going to like it. I don't know. I think they're going to like it. I think kids like things in general, so I'm going to have fun, you know, combining this with what everybody else is bringing, and they'll have some fun little summer things, little back-to-school things that... I don't know, just make me happy, make them happy, right? Yes. Now, here's the best part. I have been going through all of my crafting things and I had a bunch of things for kids that I was gonna donate or do something with, give to the kids and I thought, I didn't really know how to do it, but you know what? This is gonna be perfect. I'm just gonna pull all this stuff together, give it all to them, throw it in bags. I mean, I've got papers, papers and stickers and little things, little note things and Disney princess things and pencils and look, more Spongebob. All this stuff, little stamps, all this stuff, all left over from when my grandkids were little. I, you know what? I used to craft years ago, or at least try to. Never really could utilize everything. How many kids grew up? Anyway, so these are kind of vintage-y. I don't think you can even buy these anymore, but I'm gonna throw these all in these kids are going to get really fun little gift bags, right? So, anyway, that's my plan. And I'm going to do it, and I'll keep you guys posted, okay? So, anyway, there you have it. Uh -huh.